I would say... Cathars is the most boring sib. Out of the new ones. Now the guy we're playing is now, he's a good player. So we'll see what we can get away with here. Thinking about the fast castle into monks. Map are, what map are we playing? Rivers! See, this is what's bad about the ladder. We, we can't have this. Hope I really, really hope they find a way to change the way they do multiplayer. Who's player one? I don't know who he is. But he's definitely a good player. to get some small trees going. Playing with these big trees is really hard. And I'm used to big wood, but um, these trees in age aren't easy to deal with. I'm trying to go straight for fast castle monks. Uh, try to use that extra food from Lithuanians or something. But we'll see, we will see. What's the problem with rivers? Uh, it usually tends to be games where one player will have water control, one player will have still have a good eco and a lot of units on land, and it just becomes so stalemate and the game pretty much never ends. So we have a lot of ibex there, I'll probably do a mill on that. In that area. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit, I can't play with that super far soon. More Ibex there as well, so... 3-3, three, three. seems like there's groups of 3 spread everywhere. Not mean to shoot this last buffalo. He has doubt. I'm saying the fact that we have buffaloes as well, that means that our... We're gonna have a lot of food. We should be able to go to cast this really fast. Trees look nice though, they do look really nice. Everything in this game looks really nice. But uh, for competitive purposes, ain't that pretty. I'm thinking if this game carries on after the opening Castle Age. Then um, you might be able to play a little bit with the uh, Lightest, uh, the unique unit of the Lithuanians, especially if we have some relics, we have extra attack on them as well. By the way, he picked Vikings, so he picked a very good water sieve for this. That's obviously not too good for us. Don't run, boar. Come here. Nice. I'm gonna relics until if any light cavalry will beat knights in cost. <laughs> I'm sure Spirit of Law will do some math on that. Don't steal my buffalo. Hopefully, he's not watching the stream so he knows what I'm doing. Oh, there's four there. That means a mill there suddenly makes a lot more sense. So I will play super high risk here, super duper high risk even. So. 
Just so you guys are aware. So wish us luck. I think he walled off so I can get back there. Is there any way to catch stream cheaters? Uh, not really, no. Did he wall it off? No, I guess not. I don't see any relics yet. That's disappointing. I'd say probably need a deer or two as well to support this, but we'll find out. And before this map has no relics, that will be very disappointing. We should have relics. Actually up before him. Oh no. I don't have Loom. I'm sort of going past Castle without Loom here. Question now is Can we survive this onslaught? I don't have loom. Is it open? Okay, yeah, thank god it's not. We don't have loom here, so it's a little bit risky. Didn't notice he was on that. Kinda want to go on the relics. I also would love to snipe his uh, scout. It's gonna be a really good uptime though. It's two on gold enough to go, go monks. No, that's why we have eight more on gold down there. It is enough to go for a fast castle. Should be up 13 towards the later 30, 13 minute mark. They gave up on that. Still don't see any relics. Very disappointing. So 1340-ish castlish time. Not too shabby. I always think these are trees, but they're actually just weird plants. They're there to confuse me. I keep trying to put my villagers on them. Hello, where are the villagers? Not the villagers, the relics. I deserve relics. That was stupid. Why would you go there? Are you kidding me? Where are the relics? I can't find any relics. Bert. Okay, let's save them. Oh, we got him. Good. Now we have two scouts to look for relics. Two scouts is better than one scout. And then he has relics. He's still feudal age, so if he has relics, I'll be very impressed. But 
If they're all on his side, then that sucks for me. Okay, um, let's do a second lumber camp. Some upgrades. Where are the relics? I can't believe this. Now that died. There was a creature there that died, which means he's probably hiding down there. Waiting. Or just coming in. Cheeky cheeky. <laughs> Deleted everything. Are you kidding me? Are there seriously not relics on this map? You gotta be joking, right? It has to be relics on this map. Right now I'm scared there is not actually not relics on this map. At least there's none on my side. So much for this masterpiece. Oh! Relic located. The dream lives on. One relic at least. Could be worse. Two relics! Guys, the dream lives. Dream lives on. Masterpiece, find the relics. We have done that. Wait, is this open? Does he accidentally have a hole? On no. That was too much to hope for. I don't even care about him, I don't want to attack him, I just want to go to his base, to his side and pick up the relics. That is my purpose here. Plus two is still not frame by level, I agree with that. Okay, we definitely have no more relics on our side. He's now in Castle Age. I don't like that there's no sound, recognizable sound, when he hits to Castle Age. At least I can't recognize it. He has a. Uh, he has a dock up and makes long boats. This can be dangerous. Just those nine. Oh no. Now, did we get any coercions? Uh, looks like we got one at least. Or two, I mean. So that's promising. So let's see if he runs or. Okay, he doesn't want none of that. Oh, he does have a dock. Show me the relics, please. It makes me think he transported units over. Oh yeah, here we go. Let's go. I have loom. Probably should do horse color. There's another... Question now is, how many relics are there on this map? Is it four or is it 
five. I think they might have balanced it so there's four. So both sides have two two relics each. You know what I can do? I can uh, sneak a crossbows. That's why he had the dock there. I can convert his uh, dock. Oh no. Let me click the right one. Okay, so that's our dock now. Let's drop off the relics. We have some nice crossbows now, at least. Look at the bright side. <laughs> Let's get that. Alright, let me zoom in a little bit. It's a little bit hard to play with the... So, we have four... Let's do a convert to one of these guys. We do have four... Um, relics now. So we are set up nicely for late game. With that in mind. Oh, yes. Wall them in. See the town center there. I would like to switch into like for late game. I want to play the light this unit, light this, that gives me gold by fighting. Uh, so we have all the relics on this map now. I'm pretty sure. What? I can't click the villager behind there. Okay, there we go. Damn it! Oh, that was expected. Um, yeah, so we want to make a transition for late game for the lightest. Send those, look what's up there. With four relics, we should be in a good position. So for those asking, uh, Lithuanians have a bone, uh, unique bonus where every relic they have gives plus one attack to cavalry. You can have up to five extra attack. We can make fishing ships from his stocks, that's nice. So I need to find out if he built archer ranges here or if he just transported over. He only had five crossbows there, so I imagine he just transported over. That would be my guess. Let's transport him back. So yeah, we get to experience with experiment with the new units, the Lithuanian monks and the fast castle with extra food. Mm, I need to check my tech tree again. So we do have skirms. Use those. We do have bracer as well. So we do have good archer units as well. So I think for late game as well we are in it. What is this farm? <laughs> Doubt farm right there. So we are well set up for late game as well. Hopefully. The only issue is if he goes for long boats, then we don't have much to deal with that. Don't have many ways to. Uh, and the longboats in the on the water, I think. Do some damage with our our own cross uh, crossbow. Good stuff. So he, he made his archer ranges on the other side. Good to get that confirmation as well. Thought this is a roided out palace if this goes very late game. That certainly is. Uh, Something we might be seeing as well. He doesn't have any armor upgrades on these, but still he should be able to take care of that. I'm also missing a little bit like confirmations of like click I feel don't feel like I'm getting confirmations on my clicks. Like when I want to send people out of my town center, I don't feel like I'm getting confirmations. Oh, he's actually making knights. I don't feel like I'm getting enough 
confirmation feedback based like on my clicks. Okay, so we converted three knights. I'm satisfied with that. I don't need those monks anymore anyway. I think there's a fifth relic. I don't think so. I think they balanced out. I saw yesterday when Tato and Dal played. It was only four relics on Highlands, which has two separated... Two separated um, lands, right? On water. So I imagine it's the same here, where... To balance, they give both sides of the river. Uh, one, uh, two relics each. So let's do the fish traps. Make them automatically renew. And place some fish traps as well. Because that's fun. Doing archery ranges. I can't, actually, I'm going to use these to look for relic. He has a monster, but it's not garrisoned. Oh! I need more monks. I need more monks. Uh, we have changed. Our mission has changed. Our mission has changed. Yo, Michael, thank you very much for 250 embers. We have located the fifth relic, boys. Fifth relic has been located. Uh, our mission, our game has been turned upside down. It's now very different. Uh, I'm very focused right now. We have to have to sort this out. Thanks, Michael, for the 250 embers. GG's can't wait for the first tourney. Me near man, it's gonna be fun. Monks, transport ship, let's go. We have a mission. He is now in an Imperial Age. What is this one? Hill forts. We don't ah, actually hill forts can be nice. Hey guys, I need that. I need that relic. If I don't get that relic, I'm gonna be very, very disappointed. So I have to be a sneaky masterpiece. Might use this scout to try and lure whatever units are there away. While we try to sneak in. I'll leave this. Oh god. Okay, yeah, you guys, you have to lure him away. It's a castle, isn't it? I'm gonna drop some archer ranges as well because I might need to make sure this game lasts and then I might need the. Uh... Damn it, he found me! Damn it! We might not get the last relic, boys. Sorry to disappoint. Might be the case. Am I almost in Imperial Age? Actually, I need to activate this. Because I need to read sometimes what it says as well. <laughs> don't have the relic. Don't worry, that's still on the table cards. I'm gonna go for the relic still. Still on the schedule to get that goddamn relic. Just doing all these upgrades because why not? If only monks could garrison the siege towers, that would have been the best. Okay, we need a uh, university, boys. I need to keep this castle alive. It's really very important. It's much very important. Oh no. He actually has an army. I should make some demo ships maybe. Don't come in. I'm not ready yet, man. I'm not ready. I actually have a really nice uh, attack on my lightis. That's definitely ready. I said I'm not ready, dude. Why are you attacking me?
Okay, we still have enough castle. I might just surrender this one. Put that there. Then try and get elite. This is actually intended to steal the relic. So we'll have to wait with that. That's the Titanic. Fair not, fair not. Everything is going according to plan. Fear not. Everything is going according to plan. Let's go with it like this. 14 plus 8 attack. That has to be a beast, right? This is the unit that produces gold by fighting, right? Or is this the unit that ignores armor? I'm actually confused right now. Maybe it's all... Oh shit, my castle is actually dying. This is the unit that ignores armor. Well, shit. We have wasted all our plan. My plan was to play with... To generate gold all the time here. Turns out we have been mistaken. Tatars has the gold unit. You're right. That's what I. I knew something was off. That's a castle right there. Castle turned out to be a doubt castle, so that's good news. Um, well, it's still a good unit, ignoring armor, by all means. Shouldn't be bad. Does it ignore armor on the ramps as well? I presume it does, right? Is he hitting this castle as well? Yes, he is. The bastard. Just switch to plus 8 hustar. Down the road. Down the road. Oh, what a beast unit this light is. Seems pretty solid. I mean, it has, it pretty much has effectively 22 attack no matter what. If only had, okay, where's the last relic? It probably has it in that one, right? So I need four rams and one monk. Need four rams and one monk. The market price is still really good, so we'll try to get, take care of that as well. Who is this? My Rams have minus three armor, so they lose that advantage, okay. Ah, I see what it is. I'm gonna send one villager across as well, actually. Because I might want to build a monastery here to try and snag that relic. <coughs> Apologies. Just passing! So this also probably means that he has stables. Uh, villagers still on my side of the of the land. Don't like that. Let's prepare stables as well. Okay, I see some units coming in here. Yeah, there you go. I'm preparing stable as well. <laughs> Why would he build a castle there? 
Oh, no. Why? Get rid of the outposts. We give ourselves a chance uh, to work to get that relic. Um, yeah, so I'm mixing in some stables just to have extra. Elite Berserk, so oh boy boy. Wonder if he saw this. He probably did, so he probably knows this is there. But of course, there's a chance he didn't. He knows. Get out of there. <laughs> so how do we get this? Uh... How do we get this relic then? And I still have a lot of gold. Let's get to use the market. We could go paladin. It would still have a ton of of uh, attack. It would look look super nice. He does have berserks though, so he do he does counter me. Um. You know what? There is a chance. There is a chance that the relic isn't there because. I'm not sure if my monk had vision. I don't think so. Actually, it probably is there. I will try to find out if the, if the relic actually is there. What's the counter of berserks? Usually, ranged units do pretty well. Gunpowder, archers, all that stuff. Back to work, woman. I pretty, I pretty much want to get these guys in there just to uh, scout. I really hope he doesn't go long boats. That will. Oh wait, I forgot about the middle. Trying to take the gold at the middle. Um, I really hope. Okay, he's not making. Arbalester. Go unique unit with trash. That's pretty much what we're doing right now. I'm going paladin as well. This is pretty much a scouting squad to find out if there is a monastery somewhere else in this base, or if it is that one. My end goal is still to have all the five relics, right? But it's looking likely that that's not going to be a for us. No, he's adding dogs. Why? I want this gold. Didn't get far enough to get vision there, unfortunately. Also should get us division though. I do have bomber cannon actually. That certainly makes it more interesting. I can make like 10 bomber cannons. Eh, still tough. Oh, sorry, with 7 plus 8 attack. Pretty beastly. Just adding in some stables for for production. Okay, that was not what you guys were meant to do, but okay. You guys were meant to scout. With one jab. And you failed miserably. This is letting me have this gold for now. Can't complain about that. Maybe I drop stables on his side. Oh, I see rams coming. Oh, 
Woohoo, we start dropping more ducks. Rams, Arbluster. Wait, I don't I have Siege Hunter, don't I? No, I don't have Siege Hunter. I have Paladin, I'm saving it for better times. Such as now, maybe. Whew, good shots, actually. Really good shots, actually. Let's see, he probably has full upgrade Berserks, which do counter my units, but we are ignoring armor, so we're actually... Look how good... This unit is sick, man! Ignoring armor and having all the relics. Sick, we melted those, man. We melted those. Demo Masterpiece, that would also have been an option. Uh, I want to land villagers as well here. Uh, so we do. <laughs> we actually two shot arbalests. How sick is that? <gasps> not, not my, not my castle, please. No. Okay, let's get in those raids. Hmm, he has a scary storm army there. Might have to make some paladinos. Probably gonna lose another castle there. We're getting ready, boys. 14 plus 8 Paladinos. Actually, I have my relics as well there. Let's go! Charge! Making our way towards. Wait, where did I lose all my villagers? Didn't I send villagers over? Guess I lost them all. What? Ah. No! I wanted to go for the. Okay, well. Paladins got to dominate that in the end, so. They are ridiculously strong. <sighs> Still sucks that I didn't get the last relic. We're gonna have 14 plus 9 attack on our paladin. Still pretty damn solid, huh? Victory Pepper. I'm so confused where our villagers went. We did land. Did they kill them? Are these our villagers? No, oh, these are Hussar, they have feathers. Dude, imagine... So, the thing is... Lithuanian's pocket... You can have these Paladins... And on top, like, you can have... In theory, you could have 14 plus 9 Paladins as... A Paladin in, in a team game. Which is redonkulous. And then also with Cumans pocket, for example, we'll have 10% faster Paladin, which is also redonkulous. Um, Tatar is probably the average Civ among these. I still haven't played the Keshik enough, I don't know. That's probably what our next masterpiece I want to attempt. 
is to see how the Keshik actually play out in war. Tatar's unique unit that generates gold in fighting all units. They are very expensive though. 50 food, 80 gold. And they don't have the greatest stats. And the Bulgarians have the Connex. Oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, Tatars are fairly average, but I would say the other three civs are pretty strong. Mm -hmm. With Lithuanians and Cumans being the two stronger, and then Bulgarians right after. Yeah, I don't know, that's the thing. I don't know how much we need to play them to... Um... I don't know how many Keshiks, how much gold they generate, so the same. Step Lancers, man. Did Cumans have the Lancers? Yeah, Cumans and Tatars have the Step Lancer. We must try them as well, yes indeed. So the last relic was there. If only I, I thought it was gonna be balanced that there was two relics on each side. If I knew that relic was there, I would have gone for it way earlier. 1342 cast ledge time. Seems like... Um, Lithuanians with that 150 extra food at the start as well also really benefit in terms of going fast castle. Obviously, because it's 150 extra food. Good stuff, GG!